Mix 106 movie critic Willie Waffle giving us the movies, seeing the movies, spending his money so you don't have to waste your money if it happens to be a bad movie. couple of movies for you uh, this week. We've got uh, Aloha, one big movie with a lot of big name actors in it, and then one big movie with a big disaster. It's The Rock starring in San Andreas. I don't believe I just saw it, but I think I just watched The Rock punch an earthquake in the face. <laughs> well, if, if anybody can do it, I think it's The Rock. Oh, it is The Rock. And in the movie San Andreas, oh, man, that is everything that The Rock wants you to, to enjoy. It is everything this movie needs to be. No, no, it's not going to be an Oscar winner. No, it, it's not going to be anything groundbreaking. It is a traditional, historic, you know, classic disaster film it's kind of cheesy it's totally predictable it's 100 percent formulaic but man the special effects will blow you away and oh you're going to be on the edge of your seat watching the rock saving everybody's life well and the other thing that i guess with i don't want to say be gloom and doom but they say san andreas isn't if there's going to be a huge earthquake like this it's when and we're due, so you're kind of preying on people going, hey, this is going to really happen. Yeah, and I really hope I don't live through that, because in this movie, it's really horrible. I mean, you're watching the disintegration of Los Angeles and San Francisco, and well, that would, that would be really bad. Some thought the disintegration of Los Angeles happened many years ago. Well, I, I, well, I'm talking about the physical disintegration oh, yes. rather than the moral and ethical <laughs> disintegration. So you really like this movie. You know, it's fun. And, and you know, I know it, it's kind of, uh, it feels weird to say that watching a disaster is fun, but, you know, you've got the amazing special effects. You know, The Rock is a really good leading man. You know, he's got that charisma to make you root for him. And uh, The Rock is even going to emote a little bit, so bring some tissues. Are you kidding me? Emote and act at the same time? I know. Do you know what The Rock's throwing down? What's that? Emotion. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, so what do you give it? We're going two and a half waffles. Wow, that is pretty good. All right, uh, anything else to balance out the rock? Well, then you have Aloha, which is a different kind of disaster movie. It is such a disaster, even Bill Murray cannot save it. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Even My wife and I were even talking about it, it, that there's so many big stars in this movie that that can't be a good thing. Well, you know, it's, it's written and directed by Cameron Crowe, and, and, you know, he's got a really good history, but it just feels like he's trying so hard to make a Cameron Crowe movie with Cameron Crowe moments and Cameron Crowe characters and Cameron Crowe dialogue that somewhere along the line he forgot the Cameron Crowe magic and he forgot the plot. Yeah, believe it or not, a movie needs a plot, Cameron. Even and in this one, it just it becomes almost like this character study. As Bradley Cooper is this guy uh, who who's working for a military contractor, and he's returning to Hawaii for five days, and, and it holds the promise of his future, but also the ghosts of his past. Oh, there's some deep writing for you there, baby. <laughs> right there. All right, let's see how good of a movie critic you are. Tell me uh, a handful of the big stars in this movie. You've got Emma Stone playing the, the spunky Air Force pilot that's, the, that's taking Bradley Cooper around Hawaii. And, of course, he's going to fall in love with her because she looks like Emma Stone. You've got Rachel McAdams playing the former girlfriend. You've got Bill Murray playing the military contractor, kind of the, the crazy eccentric uh, billionaire who leads the company. You've got John Krasinski playing the ex-girlfriend's new husband. You got a big crew going on here, man. Now, how does a movie with those type of stars fail? Because you can't figure out what it's all about. You, you get little clues, little hints about what the movie's about, but it doesn't really come together in a way that's satisfying or clear. I'm going to say half a waffle for a low Wow. Half. Who would have thunk a movie that The Rock stars in about a natural disaster beats Aloha this week? You know what? Sometimes you just got to... Live life and roll with the punches. All right, so what do we have next week? Uh, hopefully something better? Well, you got the Entourage movie, plus you've got Jason Statham and Melissa McCarthy in Spy. Okay, there's no way next week can't, can't be better than this week. Well, uh, you know, they might not be as good as San Andreas, but you know they're going to be better than Aloha. Uh, come on, Entourage is going to be better than San Andreas. It'll be close. All right, we'll talk to you next week, Willie. All right, we'll talk to you next week.